uh, concerned citizens also for having us here today. Um, my name is Scott Hessen. I'm the current New Caney ISD Assistant Secretary and Region 6 Delegate. I'm seeking re-election to position three. I have my wife, Carol. We've been married for 25 years. I have a son, Anthony, who's 24. He is presently working on his master's degree at Texas State. I have Sarah, 21, who is a junior. Raise your hand. <laughs> Studying kinesiology at University of Houston. I have Victoria, 14, and Brooklyn, who is in eighth grade, I mean in sixth grade, and is 12 years old. In 2006, I was elected to this position on this board of trustees. I took an oath that I would follow the policies of this district and enforce them to the best of my ability while not micromanaging the district. There has been a lot of rumors lately. About 2% of that is fact. The only people that would know that would be the seven people in that boardroom. That's the only ones that, that will know what is actually going on. It's easy to pass judgment when you're not in there. I too like to listen to the community and take in their concerns, but ultimately when I'm in there and I have to decide what's ethical, what's above board, and I have to make that decision based on what I feel is, is, is the right decision. Although I can listen to people in the community, ultimately my name is gonna be signed to that document and my opinion is going to be based on what I feel is the best at that time with respect to the people in the community whose opinions I've always listened to regardless of if you are the poorest person in this district or the wealthiest person in this district. I'm going to treat you the same. I'm going to have the same respect for you and I'm going to have an open door policy as well. We are a recognized district currently. That is a great achievement. I am not satisfied with that. I think we can go to a higher level. I think that is possible with the staff that we have in this community. Our elementary schools carry this district. They're, they do a fabulous job. Once you hang the banner up that says recognized district, that is the name of the past. You have to roll your sleeves up and go forward and work hard and try to get to that next level. The future is not behind you, the future is in front. We are aware of the situation in this district and what has to take place. When we lay our heads down at night, the seven that are on there, we understand what's at stake. I have four kids, I understand more than anyone. You know, we're all here together. We all have been through this community. We're all graduates, the majority of us of New Caney ISD. We all have pride. All those things are great when you sit up here and talk about them, but it's not easy to go in there and stand for what you believe. And that's what I'm going to do. If you reelect me, I'm going to stand for what I believe. If it's not ethical, I will not be a part of it. I'm not going to be your friend when we go in there and it's time to vote. When it was time to put election signs out, I put mine out first. I think they'll put someone else's signs out with mine, just like when I go in there and vote. It's going to be a decision based on what I feel is best. I'm not part of a committee. I'm up here for Scott Hessen. I'm up here for the kids. I'm up here for my kids, your kids, your grandkids. There is no pay. It's just a lot of hours of work. If I told you the amount of complaints that I've had called in to my employer, you would probably be amazed and not believe it. But I assure you it has happened in this dirty world of politics, you know, that we're not paid for. So ultimately, I have to make the decision that I feel is best with your opinions in mind. But like I said, ultimately it's going to come down to what Scott Hessen feels is the best because I'm the one that has to lay down my head at night when I make those decisions. An area that I feel is a concern for the district is our grades from kindergarten through sixth are through the roof. When you get to seventh grade, there's a, a drastic decline all the way through high school. And if you've seen the article in the Chronicle last week, we are a recognized district, but our high school is ranked 99 out of 130 and is the lowest performing high school in Montgomery County. And that is to not knock our staff because they are fabulous, but something has to happen to get us over that hump. 
And that's what my goal is. My goal is to take this whole district to the, to the next level, not just elementaries, everything. I do not micromanage. I've never been on a campus walking around. I've never instructed anyone how to do their job, period. Um, on the, on the, the subject of that, the, the last 95 decisions by the board, the last 101 decisions, I'm sorry, 95 of those votes were majority votes in support of the, the superintendents, you know, what he wanted, 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 the direction he wanted the board to go. So that's six times that people spoke up for what they believed in, and that's how a board is supposed to act. You're, it's okay to have opinions. At the end of the day, you have to work together, but it's okay to speak your opinion. That's what a board of trustees does. It's seven people. It's not one person. It's not a dictatorship. It's people putting their heads together for these kids. Um, that's really all I have to add. Um, I've been a youth coach in this district for 27 years. I've mentored these kids. I see at least 15 people out here that I've coached your kids, and I see kids out here that I've coached for 27 years. So that is putting kids first. I've coached teams before I had children. So if anybody would like to meet with me afterwards, I'd love to visit with you. If you want someone that is going to make a decision based on what's always the most popular, that's probably not going to be me. But if you want me to make a decision based on what I feel, stick by it, regardless of how much flack you got to take, regardless of the people that thinks, you know, you should vote like them because the community says so, I'm not going to do that. So if, that, if that's the candidate you're looking for, I'm probably not going to be that guy. But I am going to give you a hard day's work in there and do what's right for these kids. And I appreciate your vote. Thank you very much.